Hi guys, it's Patricia and today is Tester Tuesday. If you're new to my channel, basically Tester Tuesday is a way for me to use up some old Scentsy testers. I also review two scents each week and you guys help by voting at the end of the video and let me know which ones I'm going to be warming and reviewing. So stick around, we'll see what our six cents to vote on today will be. But last week's voting was craziness. I always say sometimes they're really, really tight and this one was extremely tight. We had 154 votes. First and second were only separated by two votes, and then from second to third, there was one vote, and there was a tie for third. So really, we had four cents separated by like three votes. <laughs> so what came out on top? Well, we have a light blue colored wax, and this is Crazy Coconut with 20% of the vote. And in second place, a pretty jewel colored red wax, Perfectly Pomegranate with 19%. So the order went Crazy Coconut, Perfectly Pomegranate, Tied for third, we had aloe water and cucumber and perk me up. Then we had Piedmont and poppies and clover. So let's talk about our first place scent this week. It is Crazy Coconut. You will see this is a former kid's fragrance and that's why the bicycle is there. And this was about, I would say, three years ago. And it's retired. So the scent description for Crazy Coconut is coconut milk, mixed fruit, and vanilla ice cream. Yum. Kind of geeky, but anyway. Coconut milk, I definitely get the most. I would say almost like three quarters, two thirds. Heavy, heavy on the coconut milk. It's like a nice, sweet, creamy coconut feel. It's really, really nice. Then you also get like maybe 15% mixed fruits and then maybe like 15% vanilla. Works really well together. I'm not huge in, into coconut scents, but I do really, really like the scent. So what happened was many years ago, I actually smelled it was about two years ago i smelled all my consultants testers that she whatever she had i said give it to me i'll smell it and this one really stood out as one that i really liked back then so what i do find with this one it's a has a couple good features about it it builds in the room and it, it's a lingerer so once you turn it off you can still smell it so basically yes creamy coconut a little bit of the fruit and the vanilla pretty accurate now, it kind of reminds me of a scent that I warmed a couple weeks or so ago, Rio Beach. That one is a little more exotic, but it's, again, it had uh, it had creamy coconut, I think it had tropical fruit, and it had tonka, so almost a spin-off. This one is a little bit more basic. Rio Beach is a little more fancy. Anyway, I had three testers. So I took these testers, it's about two cubes worth, and I warmed it up here in my bedroom, 25 watt bulb warmer. How did it do? Well, it was strength to throw max of about six to six and a half. However, I left it going four days, 44 hours. That's a great, great longevity. So one thing about this scent, it kind of just ticks along. However, in the past, I've warmed it in other spots. It didn't do the greatest. So what I think you need to do is warm it in smaller areas, something like a small bedroom, a baby's room, a bathroom. It'll do great. I would not try this in my open concept space. The thing about this is we don't really have coconut scents right now. So if it's something that you really, really like or you like coconut scents, you might want to consider voting this back and bring back my bar. I myself probably wouldn't actively vote it back, but I definitely like it. If it came in the kit, I would definitely be happy. So that is Crazy Coconut. Definitely a somewhat lighter scent, but longer lasting in a small zone. So that's a good thing. Our second place scent this week is Perfectly Pomegranate, and this is a beautiful color red. Now this one has been around for years and years and years and years and years <laughs> and years. It's one of the earlier Scentsy scents. It is a top seller and it is in the fruity category. So the scent description for this is dark and juicy pomegranate with a sweet berry finish. This is a classic. So the pomegranate in this to me is slightly subdued. I get a soft fruity vibe and a berry and almost like a tinge of vanilla or the tiniest bit of floral. Like when I say vanilla and floral, I, I mean like five or 10%, but I feel like it's there. And when you smell this on cold, it's kind of light to medium. I forgot to tell you when you smell the other one on cold, again, light to medium. Anyway, this one here, when I smell it on cold, it has a waxiness. And I think what it is, is it's just, got a little bit of vanilla or something in there that gives it that tone but when you warm it it kind of goes away the waxiness goes away it's just a nice soft berry it's not boom in your face definitely not boom in your face it's more subdued than i thought tangy sweet very sweet more sweet than i thought it was going to be 
Um, I wasn't really interested in ever warming this. This is my first experience. I had quite a few testers that I warmed through and I was surprised that I liked it a lot more than I thought. Now I warmed it in three areas. I had a, two or three areas planned out and I did change my mind on the last one. So with some of my testers equivalent of three cubes worth, I warmed this one in my son's room amongst two full-size warmers. I had it going there, strength and throw of about six and a half. I left it in three days, 33 hours. So fairly good for a fruity scent in terms of longevity, slightly lighter than I thought it was gonna be. And at the same time, I was warming one tester's worth, which is a little over a cube in my youngest child's room. His is a small bedroom. Again, same strength and throw, about six and a half. I left it going almost the exact same time, three days, 31 hours. So what I was gonna do with my other testers was I was gonna warm it in my open concept space originally, and that would have used them all up. However, I just didn't feel it was strong enough to survive my open concept. So I decided to warm some of it in my daughter's bedroom, which was two cubes worth, very similar results, six and a half strength and throw, and it lasted a little over 40 hours over three days. So I have no problem with the longevity. It's again, one of those ones that just kind of ticks along, ticks along a low uh, scent when you walk into the room, but you can definitely still smell it. So yeah, if you're someone that likes light fruity scents, you would definitely like this one, I think. I personally would stick to small to medium rooms for this. I wouldn't venture into big, big areas. That's just me. And this would be good if you wanted to add a fruity component to anything because it's, it's not too it's not too bang in your face. It's nice. Um, I'll probably repurchase one bar. And, and just as a side note, if you're a Scentsy Club member, then you can actually get this bar in brick size. So just something to know. And one last thing. I have two testers left over. What I'm going to do, one of them just falls right out. So you can actually take it with a fancy little crinkle cutter and cut it into pie wedges and put it in make samples. And with the other one, you could give someone a nice big generous sample or you could also um, pry it out, melt it down. I have a, uh, a cupcake liner with rippled edges and I, it's a silicone one. I put it in there, melt it, take it out and I cut it into pie wedges. It looks really cute and pretty. So anyway, that is perfectly pomegranate. So we're gonna draw for our six cents this week. If you are new to my channel, basically I'm gonna draw six cents from the box. You guys vote on Tuesday for your top two cents down in the description, definitely two different ones. Vote by Wednesday morning. Uh, always look and see if voting is open or closed and you can find my Instagram post and vote there if you need to. It's Patricia Gates. So what's scent number one gonna be? Let's go with an older one first. Scent number one, wild watermelon. Scent number two, Clove and cinnamon. Scent number three, I'm gonna root down and see what I got. Luna. Scent number four, lemon verbena. Scent number five, let's see what we get. Bergamot and solar driftwood. And scent number six, oh, this is a big one, cozy chai. So basically, we have wild watermelon, a retired scent. Clove and cinnamon, a fall and winter scent right now. Luna, available all year. Lemon verbena, usually a spring and summer. Bergamot and solar driftwood, a former, former um, kind of like masculine scent uh, from a couple of years ago. And cozy chai, retired a little over a year ago. So as always, thanks for spending the last few minutes with me. I can't wait to see what you guys vote for this week. Take care and I will see you in the next video.